what is the process to schedule a viewing what all things to consider when you are planning to view a house can we determine how much is the right bid and what is the complete process of bidding if your bid gets accepted what all things you should take care of we will try to find out the answers to all these questions in this video so let's get started hello everyone welcome to the second video of the series buying a house in the netherlands first things first Thank you so much for showing your love and support on the first video. If you have not seen that video, you can click on the i button here to check out that video because we will continue in this video from where we left in part 1. Let's suppose you are using funda.nl to find houses in your preferred location and you have applied a few filters like year of construction, energy level and based on the search criteria you get a number of houses that you are interested in viewing you can simply send a request on the website mentioning your interest in viewing those houses once the viewing is confirmed you will receive an email with all the appointment details as the viewing of one house could take 2 to 3 hours including traveling depending on where you are currently staying it is important to only view the houses which you would ultimately buy if all goes well the viewing normally takes from monday to friday during the business hours if you are lucky it may happen on the weekend too If you have hired a makelar you can also bring them to the viewing as it can be useful to get their opinion after the house visit post the visit you will receive a brochure which will have a lot of information about the house which will help you to make a decision this will include things like the asking price of the house the last renovation details the items that will stay or will be taken taxes that were paid etc there is also a concept called open house in which you do not need an appointment to view the house but you can just go to the house at a specific time that is allotted to everybody please do not be surprised if you see a lot of people at that time because that is the whole idea of doing an open house bidding comes into picture when there are more buyers interested in buying a property and this has been a phenomena in netherlands due to the shortage of houses leading to low supply and high demand bidding is by far the most tricky part of the whole process it is exciting yet nerve wracking you never know how much is enough which can be a little disappointing at times in a recent report from abn amro there were two important points highlighted number 1 the number of available houses for sale are not enough and in the third quarter of 2021 a buyer had just one and a half homes to choose from number 2 8 out of 10 buyers bid above the asking price hence the purchase price continues to rise and in november 2021 the average sale of a house was 404000 euros you can do some research about the prices in the area where the house is located if you have hired a makelar you can also discuss the bid price with them before you communicate to the seller if you want to send an offer for a house you can do it via email which should include your purchase price resolutive conditions personal details and any other information that can be helpful for the seller to assess your situation let me show you a sample of how this email can look like you should always consult with your makelar if you have hired one before you send it to the seller you wake up one morning and you are enjoying your morning drink and boom there is an email congratulations your offer is accepted Oh that feeling I don't think even my first job offer made me that happy the next step in the process is to prepare a draft purchase deed which will be done by the seller makilar in consultation with you please read the deed carefully to see if all the offer conditions are written down correctly after the buyer and the seller have signed the agreement there will be a 3 day cooling period with no strings attached so if for any reason you as a buyer 
do not want to proceed with the deal, you can call it off during the cooling period. The purchase agreement will also mention a date by which the buyer has to deposit 10% of the purchase price into the account of the civil notary. This amount acts as a security for the seller if the buyer for any reason do not want to proceed in purchasing the house after the sale becomes unconditional. You can use your savings to deposit this amount or you can arrange a bank guarantee. If you have hired a financial advisor, they can arrange the bank guarantee or you can also contact your bank for the same. There is a fixed fee attached in arranging the bank guarantee, which is 1% of the guaranteed amount, which is 10% of the purchase price. In simple terms, if the purchase price of the house is 400,000 euros, then the bank guarantee will cost you 400 euros. In addition to the deposit date, the date of transfer of ownership is also mentioned in the purchase agreement. You should also convey the notary details to the seller makilar as the signed agreement has to be sent to that notary office so that the final action can take place on the date of transfer of ownership. Just like the energy label and the year of construction is important when you are searching for a house, the technical or the structural inspection is crucial after the offer is accepted for a house. Think about buying a second hand car which looks beautiful from the outside but whether the engine and other machinery works fine or not, you can only find out when you take it to a mechanic. Similar to that, the technical inspection of the house is done by an experienced and a knowledgeable person who will check for things like quality of the roof, inner and outer walls, space underneath the house, presence of fungi or asbestos, etc. This will help you to determine if there are any major issues in the house and if there are, what is the cost of repair that we are talking about. The cost of technical inspection can vary depending on the size of the house. But to give you an example, if you are buying a house of 350,000 euros, the technical inspection cost will be around 350 euros, which is 0.1% of the buying price of the house. I think it is completely worth it to pay this cost in order to know upfront if there are any issues in the house you are stepping in and whether it is coming up with any big surprises. If it is possible to arrange the technical inspection within the three day cooling period, then it will give you absolute clarity if there are any major maintenance costs that you may have to bear in the near future and it also gives you a fair chance of rethinking whether you would like to buy this house or not. This will also give you an opportunity to sit down with the seller to do some negotiations based on the outcome of the report. If it is not possible to do the technical inspection in the three day cooling period, then it is better to mention that as a resolutive condition when you place the offer and you can also mention the upper limit of the maintenance cost that you are fine to bear. So if the outcome of the report says that the amount required is more than your upper threshold, then you can also start discussions with the seller to manage these costs. If the complete checklist of buying a house is green until this moment and all the criteria are fulfilled, then the only step that remains in the process is to arrange a mortgage. I will cover all the details about mortgage in my next video, which will conclude this three part series of buying a house in the Netherlands. If you enjoyed watching this video and found it informative, please leave a like and a comment. Subscribe to my channel to stay connected and for video notifications, hit the bell icon. If you have any questions for me, you can let me know in the comment section. And if there is any point on which you would like me to make a video, please let me know. Until next time, Shashank Mota signing off.